welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147. And I thought I'd do a little bit of diamond painting with you today. Um, so I've got these little key rings. Um, I have got an unboxing of them. Um, but they just have the letters um, and numbers as symbols on the front. And they use sort of the little rhinestone diamonds. But I thought I'd do a little bit of one with you um, and see how it goes. So they do have a sticky coating over the top, which I'll peel back sort of as I go along. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd sort of see how one of these comes together. Quite excited to see what they look like. So um, I'm going to start with the letter I. Now, these do come in sort of a strip of bags. So I'm just going to cut out the letter I and we'll make a start with those. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to get hold of one of these bags from Evermoment to be able to put my spares in when I'm done. So I'm just going to put the letter I. Because they are gemstone ones, they don't tend to have um, a specific DMC code. So I'm just going to label it up as I so I know which one it is. Um, my battery is about to go, so I'm going to change. Okay, that's the story of my life at the moment. Battery's always going to go. Okay, so I'm going to start on the letter I. Now, the diamonds are used across a few different ones. So this sort of letter I does appear on a few. So I'm just going to tip some of them out for now because it's in a small tray. And these are like a little gold colour. Um, more like a champagne colour, should we say. Let's say champagne. Okay, so let's see how much wax I've got in. Oh, I'm all right for wax in this. And I'm going to try, again, to peel back a little bit of this coating. And then these eye symbols tend to go all the way around the edge. Now, I'm not a huge fan personally of these crystals diamond paintings you'll have to excuse my hand shaking i spent so long strimming the garden yesterday my hands are still shaking from it um but yeah i'm not a huge fan of these crystal ones i think it's mainly that the couple that i've done i tried working on in the evening and you can't actually see the crystal ones as easy when it's dark um, and the ones I have done have been paintings, so with the light shining underneath, you couldn't really tell what they were at all. So it wasn't, they're not my favourites, but on the likes of, of little, little things like this, I think they're quite cute. Let's zoom you in. You don't need to see all the other diamonds sort of sat on my desk. When I'm not doing anything with them. So I've given the tray a little shake of course to try and get some the right way up and for me I'm just peeling back the adhesive cover as I go along. It means that I can still hold on to it um, in places. Not that I think it's going to move about very far but and I've just got a little bit of wax in my pen I'm just going to put these ones around. I think these are going to be really cute. There is loads of different keyring ones that you can make now. It's becoming a big thing. But they're quite fun to do and quite a nice little mini project. Especially at the moment I'm doing very big diamond paintings. Um, all the ones I have tend to be rather big. I think the smallest one, apart from my round versus square, that I'm also sort of doing a little bit of a beginner's guide with. Um, they are rather big. My smallest is 50 by 50. I've then got a 60 by 60 and then I've got a 100 by 50. And I've very nearly finished my huge one which was 
50 by 75, I think I want to say. Well, that was the canvas size. The actual drill area was slightly smaller. Um, but I ran out of some colours for that one. Let's get this off. Um, I ran out of some colours for that one. So I have received extras from the seller. They were very good and very quick um, in providing the extras. So I do need to get that one finished up so that I can look at trying to frame it. But the glue on here seems rather strong. I'm quite impressed with how strong it is. Which is always good. Ooh. See my hand had an extra little mini shake then. <laughs> so yeah. I had to, every time I do the streaming, my hands shake even more than they occasionally can do anyway. The kids find it hilariously funny. Uh, but I do get them making my coffees for me a bit more often. I'm alright when I'm propped against something, it's because I'm not propped against anything at the moment. Let's see if I can get my hand to sit flat on the desk while still being able to put these down without having to reach too far. Should make it a bit easier. But yeah, I highly recommend any diamond painter gets themselves some key rings. Just, just for a little bit of fun, because why not? There's quite a few different things that are out at the moment that aren't particularly paintings. Um, and I do find they're a little bit of entertainment. So we've got quite a lot of this colour on here first, which is why I did start with it. I did want to be able to cover as much as possible. Some people prefer to start with the shaped diamonds, and which is what I may do next actually, is I may do the big shapes because I won't be able to pick those up with my pen as easy. I'm more likely to need to use tweezers for those. So make sure I've got the space to get them in the right position. We'll do those ones next. But this is a nice colour. Oop. Lost one out of the tray. Maybe that's why they send the green boat with this one. Stop them falling out. So what projects is everybody else working on? Are you working on a project that's, you know, a big diamond painting? Or are you working on something that's not quite a diamond painting, a little bit off, off the book? I've seen quite a few people have done those tissue boxes as well. I'm not, I can't quite see a use for those yet to purchase them. But if anybody's interested, let me know and I'll have a look and and pick one up. If there's anything else that anybody's interested in having a review of, let me know. Um, if it doesn't cost the earth, um, I'm more than happy to get things in just to do a review on them so you guys can see what they're like. It's partly why I got these, plus because they're just a little bit of fun thought the kids would have pinched them all off me by now, but they didn't. I think they were in the middle of watching a film when I showed them, so it wasn't, wasn't the main interest for them at the time. Okay, so that's all the letter I's done. So we've got a little circle. Now, having a look, I don't like the look of that diamond. It's just not sitting right as the right colour. So I'm going to throw that into my little pot for rubbish and replace that. I think the rest look okay though. Um, I'm going to fight with putting those into this bag later, but I'll put the ones in for now that are in my tray. Because I'll be using those not only for the other side, but I'll also be using them for other ones. And then let's have a look at some of the big ones. So we've got C. This is the pips in the pair. 
So I'm going to get my Ever Moment tweezers. I do find this is the easiest way to get hold of these bigger ones. And this is where my shaky hand is not the best. But we'll get there. So at the minute I'm just lightly placing them down. Once I'm happy with the way they're placed, maybe even after I've done the ones around them, that's when I'll push them down and hopefully set them a little bit more. Shaky hand syndrome is wow. There we go. This will teach me to strew my garden, won't it? I knew there was no chance of a diamond painting last night due to strewing in the garden, but we went out to see um, Bohemian Rhapsody with Luna Cinemas last night. That was really good. I did really like that. Okay, so we need a number two. Now with all these little bigger beads, it's quite good because all the numbers are on the top and we only need one. So I'm just gonna fight one out of the packet. Ooh. Let's get that one to nudge around just a little bit. See here already I can see I need to fit a diamond in the middle of the two. So I don't want to push them all down too much until I've got in some of the other ones that need to go there. And then I need number three, which is this one. And this is just for the little pips. If I can get in the bag. And there's two there. See if I can get those two out without getting all the rest out. Oh, I got two out of any variety will do me. Get that one to sit right. Cute little blue one. shaking in between how cute is that right what colors next so i think i'm going to do the y um round here next because i want to see how i can get those to nestle in at the top so i'm gonna have to cut out this one which is a yellow and then again i'm just going to get one of these little ever moment bags and i'm just going to put a y Very funny shape Y, but and then I'll know which one it is. Oh, oh we've got some green ones in here as well. So we've got a few rogue ones in this pack. So we need to pay attention to just using the yellow. And I want to get these ones in up the top to make sure they all nestle in right. It's going to be a very blingy key ring. So for anybody that's interested, I got these off um, AliExpress. I must admit it is, it, it does tend to be my go-to for diamond paintings. I have been looking at um, another company or two. I have been looking, you know, to do a review on some different companies. I mean, I say companies. AliExpress is, is a multitude of companies. Um, I have had a look at... Oh, what's the big one that they use in the States? I can't... Do you know? I can't remember now. Um, it's expensive, <laughs> I know that much, um, but their canvas quality is supposed to be amazing. Um, I have had a look, but the shipping to the UK is not cheap. And I've not, if I found a painting that I really liked, um, then I probably would think, do you know what, I'm going to treat myself. But I haven't yet found a painting that ticks that box for me. Um, I 
I do like the fact that they have AB diamonds in them though. So my other thought is to actually have a look at getting a painting from Timney Arts. That's another company that I've heard use AB Diamonds and their canvas quality is different and in turn rather amazing. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts. What company is it that you like to use for your diamond paintings and, and why? Because um, I'd like to try some new, some new and different companies just to vary up what's what's on my channel as well so if you've got any ideas please let me know even if they're on Aliexpress I do like Aliexpress um, it's an easy platform to use in my opinion and you know there's the odd seller that I'm not as keen on but it's cheap enough that um, it doesn't end up being too bad so I'm just trying to nudge some diamonds over to make sure that these all fit. Bit of a tight squeeze in places. Ooh. Okay, you can go there. You didn't go where I wanted you to, but you went in a place where you belong. How pretty is this looking? <laughs> These are pretty funky. So I'm just going to go around the edge now, up to the top, and then that's the wide on. I think I might just move these green ones out before I end up putting one on by accident. Get those out of my way. It's another benefit of having the diamonds the right way up. You can check if you're doing the right colour. So yeah, sorry, back to topic. Um, yeah, let me know of any any companies that you recommend. Maybe ones that aren't on AliExpress. Um, I have a, a painting currently from Victoria's Moon. Um, that's victoriasmoon.co.uk. I have a painting from them at the moment um, that they asked me to do as a review. So I'm currently doing that one um, to see what my thoughts on that company is. I've also, um, there's also Diamond Paintings uh, UK. That's another company that I've, I've done a painting from. Um, that one I purchased myself. Um, that was my Christmas scene, which oh, I adore, absolutely adore that one. Um, can't wait until it's Christmas and it can go up again. <laughs> I really do like that painting. Um, if it was something that I could have up all year round, I probably would. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know of any other companies that would be worth trying, um, just for just for a bit of a change, maybe. Okay, so now we're on to tea, which is silver. So let me grab another Ever Moment bag. I do like these little bags from Ever Moment. While they're not the same size that I use for all my spare diamonds, they are great for things like this. So they're great for keeping hold of spares from packs that you maybe have to cut open. Um, or indeed I sent somebody some diamonds recently. Um, so I popped them into, into one of these bags so I could label them up with the number on the front. They're cute bags. Ooh, that one jumped. So we'll get that one in place. Diamond Art Club, that's the name of the, for everybody shouting at the screen, um, Diamond Art Club is, is the name of the American company that I did look at getting one from. And while they've got some glorious paintings, as I say, price-wise they're not cheap, which, you know, if the quality's there, it's not that I don't mind paying more. Um, but I do have to really like it because they are quite big paintings. 
that they do. Um, say they do the AB diamonds, which which really does appeal to me. Um, but for that bigger painting, I have to have a home for it really. I don't mind doing the small paintings just for fun. Um, I don't mind doing the likes of these key rings just for fun. But if I'm putting that much money and that much effort into a bigger painting, I do want it to have a home. I do want it to have somewhere that it's going to go. And I've not quite found a painting that, that ticks those boxes um, just yet, even as a gift. I've just, I've just not found it. So let me know of any sites and I'll, I can go and have a little browse. Um, I know AliExpress I think is having a sale as I'm currently doing this. So I know I'm going to have a little peruse on there later in case anything grabs me. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys on what you want to see maybe reviewed or what you'd like you know, to see an unboxing of so you can see what it looks like in a bit more detail than the pictures before you order. Unless I absolutely hate it, of course. Like, you know, I'm more than happy to review a lot of stuff, but if I'm spending my own money on something and I really don't like it, I don't know whether I can draw myself to do it unless I can think of it as a gift for somebody else. But, but yeah, I highly recommend having a look at the key rings. I'm, I'm really quite enjoying this, considering I don't like the rhinestone paintings. I think the rhinestone key rings are quite cute. I've seen uh, quite a few different designs. There's some little um, little babushka dolls, little Russian dolls. Um, they're really cute. Um, and then you can get things like unicorns. And I got these fruit ones, I think, just because I thought they looked a little bit funky. I thought they'd look nice as rhinestones. I am wondering how it's going to be doing the other side with it being having diamonds on the back and not flat on the desk but I'm sure it will work I don't know how durable they'll be I don't know if I'm going to throw them on my car keys which I throw in my handbag all the time but they're definitely Definitely cute. Okay, so we've got one more tea. There we go. Oh, no, we haven't. Sorry, we've got all the middle as well. That'll teach me to pay attention, won't it? Let's get the middle done, and then I've just got the leaf to do. So I'm sort of going round the edges as I'm doing these, because then they can nestle into each other, ready for the rest of them to go in. Conscious that they've all got to fit in this space. So either round the edges or of course in rows to get them all to nestle and fit. I don't think I'd seal this, though I suppose you could if you really wanted to make sure that it was sturdy for use. I wonder what it'd like be like if anybody's got um, the means for doing like epoxy resin I wonder if that over the top of this would make it that would make it really sturdy as a keyring I would have thought but these are, are printed um, on like pieces of acrylic it's quite thick acrylic um, well I say quite thick it's, let's have a look how big is it Probably only uh, one to maybe one and a half, two millimeters thick, I'd say, acrylic. So about two millimeters, um, which seems to be pretty sturdy, especially once you've put the diamonds on, of course, it's going to be even more. That now is the tea done. So let's pop those in there. And then we've got. V, which is this one in the middle, I'm putting my pen 
pen back down and don't always put it in the right place. So there we go, we've got V. Only need a few of these. Got diamonds all to the side of me, which I'll sort out later. But here's, this is very similar to the green that we had before, floating around in with the others. And this is just round the outside and then I've got one more letter in the middle of the leaf. So it's even got shading in such a small design. And then I do miss one here, that's where the key ring part goes in. So go around from the other side to meet up. And you, I find you really don't need a lot of wax in your pen when you're dealing with crystals. And my memory card's saved. I must have been talking for that long. Doesn't time fly when you're diamond painting? That's all I can say. That's where all my time goes. I actually didn't do any yesterday, which was a bit different for me. Okay, and then we've got A. So all these other colours that are here, um, they're all for different ones. So I'm just going to tip a few in there. I'll label up my bag later because I won't leave my tray once I've done this. Don't need to label it up on camera anyway. So let's get these in. Oh, they're only a slightly different shade. Very slightly different. Two different. Oh. They were stuck together. Fight with them later. That's a job for another day. throwing them everywhere. Get these last few in. Really, it's quite a lot of diamonds for such a, in effect, small key ring, even though as far as key rings go, it's probably on the bigger side. Still takes a fair amount of time just to do one side, but it is definitely a project that you could get a key ring done in one day, whereas a diamond painting, unless it's very small, it is not a one day project. Some of them are months. I'd say years, there probably is some this years, but okay. To pick that one up off the desk, that is prepared done. So that's quite sparkly. Well, that's one side of prepared done. So if you can see the sparkle. We have got a different colour around the edge here than we do in the middle, but it's only slightly different. So it's a champagne gold here and it's a definite silver here. And you can see it possibly in this middle part a little bit easier because they are next to each other there. But how cute is that? So I think I'm going to do the other side. Um, I'm just going to quickly do the other side and then I'll show you what it looks like as a keyring. Speak to you in a bit. And here's the other side of the pair all done. So I think that looks so cute so to put the diamond or the chain sorry on this is it's just a, a ball chain so it's just a matter of fastening it through and then feed one ball into the end part and twist it round if it'll let me there we go and then we've got a little keychain and then while I was busy doing that other side got distracted with life etc and um, the kids actually did help me do these other ones so we've got one there so I will zoom out and show all of them we've got the apple Ooh, which is 
also pretty cute. We've got the apple, we've got the watermelon. And then we've got the orange. So I thought they were pretty cute. They weren't too much. They were a bit more than, oh, let's go outwards. Worked out a bit more than a pound a key ring, but I still think they were fun to do. I may get some more um, just to do as a little fun project, um, just for something a little bit different. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.